All right, I've closed out of Hades. I'm ready to play. How is that game, by the way? Um, I've clocked 150 something hours into it, so I think it's pretty fun. Wait, which game is this? I I didn't hear that part. Sorry. Uh, Hades by Supergiant Games. Oh, cool. What else did they make? Oh, yeah. Uh, they made Transistor, Bastion, and Pyre. Okay, yeah, so they've got a good legacy going on. Yeah, yeah. I I stand them pretty hard. I stand pot like everyone says that Transistor is their best game, and I don't disagree. But I stand pretty <clears throat> hard for Pyre being superior. Sorry. Yo, they literally made fantasy basketball and sold it, and it worked. <laughs> Are you guys saying Stan or Stand? Stan, S T A N. Like JoJo. Nah, not Okay, like I don't know what you kids are talking about these days. It's modern slang. Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand modern slang. I just told you, I'm only 13 <laughs> years away from stage 4 kids. I don't understand. I don't, oh, I, don't man. Under, I don't understand the origins of it either. I just understand. I just understand the context. Uh, It's a reference to the Eminem song Stan. Uh, expressing extreme fanaticism. See, I know that. I know yeah. Stan. Also, fe- Stan featuring Dido. But yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Great song. I thought you were like, I stand. Like, I stand for this. This is something I stand for. Or that Stan, sense, I have an invisible creature behind me that you can't see that'll fight for this thing. I don't know. I'd you can really just... If you could see it. You can allocate. I mean, I mean, have to fight. I mean, st- st- I mean st- like... Being a stand for something and being and standing for it is, I mean, the context is similar. It's just yeah, it's, it's similar slang enough. for it's slang for extreme like fanaticism. It's just been Which so long been since thinking. the song "Stand" came out that why would that yeah. be the lingo now? I have no yeah, idea, that, but it resurfaced. I have, I have no clue, but yeah. Like I KC in the Sunshine Band for this. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was an old man the moment I was born. I've never understood heard a single bit of slang from anybody. So, all I'm right, not guys, I now. I have a confession for you all. Uh, Raz is never actually super strong. She actually has a stand, and y'all just can't see it. Wait, she has a stand, or she has a stand? Stand, stand. Uh, like JoJo, stando. I thought there were stands in JoJo. Is that why she always has this intimidating aura around her? She's it constantly is. striking poses. There we go. It that is. explains everything. Okay, this is where I wanted to follow back around full circle. I don't like JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> you will, you will. Nah. No. I have a friend who's constantly trying to sell me on it, and I do not like it. She says... Well, then we're in the same boat. She says, you have to get past season one, because everything gets better after season one, and I'm like, if I don't like the first season, why would I watch it? Honestly, so when that, that, because three, they're two completely I'm different so shows, different honestly. Show. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. Um, That's a fault in marketing, it's, then. It's not for everyone. It's It's so zany and wild, and it's one of those shows that you just have to accept at face value. Look, I watched a season of Bo 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 Bo. All right, it's not that zany. But That's what I'm saying. Know. Just because I don't like. It's not that I don't like zany. Well, I didn't like Bo 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 either. But I did watch I mean, the full season. There's Bo 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 zany, and then there's like Fooly Cooly zany. They're they're two different breeds. I mean, Fooly Cooly was all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fooly Cooly was a masterpiece. Honestly, I wouldn't say a masterpiece. I would say it was I, all right. I would say it has more depth than it has on the surface, but I I, I watched the second and third parts of Fulikuli as well, and I would say that they were almost as good and still had their own um, separate themes and things going for them. I say they're worth it if you like the original. I mean, yeah. I put Fulikuli on the same level as like Tenchi Muyo. It's just not, it's not awesome. It's all right. That's valid. That's a valid opinion. Uh, I, I'm like. I'm like a fourth level weeb, so like <laughs> class. So it's okay. All you need to know is that Tenchi Muyo is you're continually resets everything, and it's a complete I mess. Oh no, Tenchi Muyo is freaking like. I blame Tenchi Muyo for a lot of bad, a lot of like the crap that I have to deal with as a modern anime fan. Mm. Most of it's Tenchi. Most of it's Tenchi Muyo's fault. Oh boy, yeah. 
If Tenso Muy if Tenshi Muyo didn't exist, then we might not have to deal with so much harem trash anime coming out in modern times. Oh, really? Isn't Tenshi right. Muyo just an extension harem. of Slayers? <laughs> no, Slayers wasn't a uh Slayers wasn't a harem anime though. Was it, it was not, pretty though? etchy though. Yeah, I mean, really, if you just look at it from another angle. So uh <laughs> Alright, Slayers well, is Tenchi without Tenchi. Uh, that is an opinion, I, that is a statement that was said, and I'm not sure how to register it. Because, like, it's not wrong. Yeah, think about it. Slayers is Tenchi without Tenchi. But, like I said, it's, it's not the same sort of... Uh, like it's, it's not a harem anime, so that's what makes it different. Slayers is like a freaking ant- like adventure fantasy m- manga. Right. It's just a lot of. So. Sorry, I just I said it and y'all went silent for a minute. And I just thought, hmm, what if I just mute the rest of the session and y'all just look around and do all this stuff like you thought about it for another two hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's the supercut extended edition of this episode, where the anime okay, fight though. just ends awkwardly. It's okay though, because CMC had an extra hour and a half of prep, so this is going to be a crazy session. And he you looks down. That I... He just looks down. <laughs> you re- you realize that I can't prep without the internet, right? I'm messing. So... Really, you don't have pads of paper and pens at your desk? That's all I do. You don't just take out your clay tablet like the rest of us? It's like, I can barely <laughs> understand my own handwriting, let alone, uh, I can barely, I can barely read my own handwriting, so no. But when the power goes out, I just got this thing sitting next to me, so I have an audiobook available. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Griffin, we're much more advanced in clay tablets now. We actually put wax over slates. Whoa. I mean, Ooh. I mean my Whoa, phone man. is... My 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 phone broke back in the summer, so I've been using a really you know a really old phone that's got cracks in it because I, my I don't have a phone. Parents... So yeah, you have an e-reader. Oh, yeah, I had that tablet. That's not even my tablet. The person I bought yeah. it for many Christmases back didn't want it. Oh, well, and now it's yours. I got the extra it. large one because I have bad vision. Bought I figured a gift. I figured they would just listen to Ozzy on it or something. Nice. Okie dokie. So. Um. That. And, uh. Uh, anyways, last time. You guys finish the fight with uh um the villains who uh manage to turn your mock bank robbery into an actual bank robbery through some reality warping shenanigans. Um and then you guys had the uh you guys had leave to do Basically, whatever you wanted. Um, for in, uh, Hunt gave you some leave to explore the city because he trusted you guys uh, to not screw up, and much to his surprise, much to his surprise, that's exactly the opposite of what happened. At least for the most part. Um, mostly, be- I mean, uh, Madeline and Paladin. <clears throat> um did fine all by themselves. Uh they were, you know, pretty low key. They didn't have any sort of real concern. You know, they were pretty um, hide in the middle of the street. Paladin um yeah. went on a date. And then kind didn't. of. <laughs> uh you know. And then 
And then the problems started when we went to RK and Raz, who RK wanted to go on a, you know, to clear things up with Raz, wanted to go on a date and asked her on a date. And, uh, which, you know, was all well and good. She accepted. Um, and then, but she wanted to, but he, uh, he took her to a junkyard. Uh, wanting to basically have a fight with her to let off some steam, thinking that would be what something she wanted, but the junkyard owner wasn't really interested in anything other than cold hard cash, and uh, having a sort of mental breakdown of sorts by marking all of his conditions. Uh, he um. Uh, he went and he stole money from the bank, which is totally not going to backfire on him in any way. <laughs> and then he proceeded to stop time, or at least prevent the sun from going down using some sort of uh, um, some sort of cosmic power. And he and Raz, well, he intentionally broke, and Raz unintentionally broke curfew. Uh, and now Raz is running back towards, you know, Ra Raz left RK, uh, left RK to go with Shiva, who was, who intruded on their date when it became clear that uh, they were running out of time. And then um, RK, we left with RK slowly making his way back to the school. Probably probably completely aware that he is in big trouble. Oh yeah, I think last time we left off with uh, the implication that he basically has a big crowd in the office to get back all of his statuses. Wasn't that the joke? Uh, That was the joke, but... Well, I mean, he was slow he walking. Really well, he was slow walking back to school. I don't actually think we ever covered what the... Yeah. But you were full on conditions, and now you're free. Yeah, cause ju just because otherwise you would be written out for most of the, se the session, because that's technically how it's supposed to work. And... Uh... Yeah. You know, and so... But yeah, um, and... So, also, I uh, looked into uh, uh, elemental awareness, and uh, yeah, if you want to ask questions, you're supposed to mark conditions. Don't so I'll be enforcing that. Was made to understand that. <laughs> All right. I missed that originally. Now it is known. to immediately pop four conditions is kind of scary, so have fun. <laughs> Oh, well, it just happens to be that normally when I've been rolling burn, I've been using all that burn on questions. So now it's just going to be a less inquisitive character. That's what we all thought, right? That RK needed to be more impulsive? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's what he needs. All right. Um. So... Might as well get right on to it. Uh, RK, once you get back to school, uh, after slow walking, as you put it, uh, you are immediately... Well, some call it moping. Moping. Uh, you are immediately summoned to the headmaster's office. Yeah, no, I was told to go there immediately when I got to school anyway. Yep, so we're going to start with you getting back to campus and uh do you head straight there yeah i mean i'm not like not doing what they tell me to do i'm just doing it very slowly yep all right well when you get there you've got uh several members of faculty there waiting for you you have of course your homeroom teacher who is partially responsible for this haunt uh, you've got Vice Principal uh, uh, Cottonell. Uh, you've got 
uh, Headmaster Hellbinder, and uh, and Doctor Sheridan. Um. So, uh, who, as uh, Head uh, Hellbinder was sort of speak up, uh, RK. I'm just going to be flat with you, as I feel that that'll be the most uh, the most poignant way to get to the bottom of this. What were you thinking? I wanted to feel accepted. You don't. What do you mean? You don't feel accepted? Rephrase. I wanted to feel wanted. So you decide, well, wanting, and so you decided to pause to keep the sun from setting so that you could go on a date with Raz and violate uh, the rather generous conditions that uh, Haunt asked that you you know, fulfill and just be back here before sundown. Right. I needed time. And I made sure that I was granted the time I needed by falling within the guidelines left to me by my superior gesture towards Haunt. Maybe I should have been a little bit more specific. And he's just, and Hellbinder's like, no, no, Hellbinder, you did fine. But do you, do you realize that you broke one of the school rules about not using your powers outside of campus without permission? Right? I did not fight anybody. And he's like, she's like, that's not the point. The point is, is that it's not just about not fighting anybody. It's about not using your powers that, that in a way that could, you know, you know, especially with someone with your kind of power, could have gone terribly wrong. What if you had, you know, what if you hadn't concentrated and it something bad would have happened? I think I'm just sitting sit in silence because, you know, if I was a 14-year-old, this is literally what I would do. Let them have the conversation at me. Hang your head in shame and all that. No, I mean, probably, yeah. Stare at, like, a corner of a desk or some bit of the floor. Don't make eye contact. And she's just gonna sigh and say, Can you go, hold on, give me one second. <clears throat> she's gonna sigh and turn into a office. tiny little princess. Quick, quick! Time to uh, time to ransack the office while they're not looking. Well, there's seven <laughs> of them there. One of them said, "Give me one second. Whoa, are those well, the keys to Hellbinder's car? Around simultaneously, yeah. in for some reason. All right, yeah. I just my my nephew barged in here <clears throat> without knocking, so I just mean to. Uh, that's fine. That's why I had to quick turn off. I did, yeah, quick turn off my camera. Little dudes be like that. Uh, so. Um, and so she's just gonna say, uh, out of character quick, I know you weren't think out of character, RK wasn't thinking correctly, but, um, did he remember to do anything about the cameras at the bank? Because you don't, I don't remember you saying anything, but. I didn't, but I know that we were talking, um, because. I don't know if I was thinking, like, that the, the teleportation would be quick enough. Or, you know, like if Nightshade... Not Nightshade. What the hell is that character? What's the X-Men's name? Nightcrawler. 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 I don't know. I like Nightshade better. Now he's Nightshade to me. <laughs> I know when Nightshade just jumps around, sometimes they have to, like, stop cameras to be able to figure out what's happening. Well, I don't know. Sometimes. It depends on who's writing him. Because other times it's like, oh, big puff of smoke. Um... You know what? Fuck it. You know, if you want them to have video camera footage of me robbing the bank, go for it. Let's ride this. 
ride this to the hell. Uh, well, let's ride um, this to hell, Binder. Okay. So, and she's like, all right, that's fair. But how do you explain this, she says, is uh, we got a call from the bank uh, after we, you know, uh, you know, after, you know, and we know that the villains didn't get away with any money. And can you explain this? And she'll, she will pull up uh, a TV and it'll show you on camera very like just for a split second in the bank uh, alone with a bunch of money. And then, you know, next for frame you're gone sorry i just needed a a 50 50 roll to decide what i was gonna do (laughs) if i was gonna be a liar or not i hadn't decided fair enough yeah i took a reward We're not, we're not in this the hero job to get rewards. No. We're here to help people. A lot of people seem to think prestige is a reward, notoriety. You know, public image. Does that not give you a reward? Does that not give you a bonus? I mean, yes, but we very few heroes and no <laughs> heroes of any sort of. No heroes that act who with any sort of you know, no heroes that have any sort of reputation ever ask for monetary rewards, especially without asking permission. Oh sure, nobody explicitly asks for a monetary reward, but they do leverage that notoriety, that fame, for monetary gain. That's different. It's not so different. What you did was a crime. What I did is what every 9 to 5 in this city does. They simply ask for recompense for spending their time to help others to do a job. You didn't ask, though. It was implied. It was implied. <laughs> and she's just going to... You can see that... Uh... You can see that she's sort of, you know, she takes a minute, and you might be able to see parts of her skin uh, boiling a little bit, uh, which is a little bit unsettling. Also implies that your collar's not working, as I've said from day one. Oh, she doesn't wear a collar. Uh... The but color that prevents cup. her from transforming, I mean. Uh, yes, but that's not something she wears. That's something that exists. In t- that's basically her entire office is her collar. It's an entire mystic. Her her office is covered in a giant mystic seal. Oh, because I could have sworn you said she was it. mentioned. I could have sworn you mentioned a collar in like the first episode or something like that. She she held one up. She's not wearing one. She demonstrated how it works, but it's also so it. long ago. I could just be remembering wrong. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but yeah, but no. She her 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 collar, quote unquote, is her office slash the school. Um. But yeah, her her skin's boiling a, a little bit, which is a little unsettling. Um, but it stops after a while. Uh. Although the temperature in the room does go up a little bit. And she's just going to take a deep breath and say, well, thankfully, the money can be returned, which it will be. And, uh, the you know, this is your first offense, and so... You know, we will put you. You know, we'll put a we'll put a strike on your record, and you'll be. She'll she will uh look over to the vice principal, and the vice principal will pull out a safety a dampener collar, and for 
uh, a few, you know, and for two weeks, you will be, uh, have a dip, you will be collared. Uh, Great. until, you know. Ward of the state, dog of the school. Well, she's like, she just sort of sighs and says, this, you, you, you did this to yourself. Up, RK. No. What I did was for myself. What you are doing is to me. There is a difference. And she's like, well, and I'm also going to, you know, if you, if you want to, uh, <laughs> Uh, if if you want to uh, get days knocked on off your sentence, uh, then I'm also suggesting um, that you meet at least once a week. Uh, where is he? Uh, oh, um, with Doc Bulldog. Right, but you said it's only two weeks. If I meet for once a week, it's only one week before I'm already getting it taken off. Uh, oh, I, well, I, out of character, I should have. Yeah, let me let me retcon that. And say one month. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Glad I said yeah, something. Yeah, Hellbinder just being angry enough to go. It's like, did I stutter? <laughs> one month. Two. <laughs> Correct me again. One, rest of the year. One month for your... It'll be one month, and if you want to get days knocked off that month, then I will suggest that you at least meet that you meet with uh, Doc Bulldog to work out some of these issues that you seem to be having about not want, not feeling wanted. Uh, and just in general, just to help help you you know, I don't know. Deal with your own... Deal with your emotions. And Doc... And Doc Bulldog will, you know, <laughs> come and... Uh, also, oh, we'll... We'll put his hand on your shoulder and uh, say that you can come and talk to me, you know, anytime. You, you know, she might have assigned you once per week, but you can come and see me any anytime. And he'll, uh, and, uh, as Kenyon will, as the vice principal will come over and, uh, you will click, uh, the collar around your neck. Uh, which is not like big and bulky. You could easily hide it under a, uh, Hide it, hide it under, like, you flip the collar of your shirt and it'll be hidden. Or, wear, you know, wear a turtleneck or something. It's it's, it's not, uh, it's very easy to hide if you choose to. And they're not going to, uh, and they are not going to, uh, take, you know, they want, they, you're not getting in trouble if you try and hide it from the other students. Um, but essentially, you uh, while you're wearing the collar, and I'm gonna make put a mark. I will put this. In, I will note this on your sheet in my in my note section. Uh, you take a negative two to uh using uh freak or danger. That oh, was that all. I thought it literally yep. stopped me from using all of my powers. I thought it made me a person. <laughs> yeah. No, it, no it's not that power. Only intense therapy can do that. Yeah, we'll see. strap on two next time if you break out of it. You know? <laughs> so, but no, it just gives you a negative. I mean, you don't use your freaking danger or most of what you use to roll your powers. Uh, even. Yeah, but you're, you know, that's still essentially a plus one of every one of my rolls. So. Well, no, it's uh, looking at your sheet right now. Oh yeah, yeah, flat. I forgot so. that. 
somebody decided to lower my freak down. So it still is plus zero. Wasn't me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yep, it's a plus zero, which means that it's easier to fail, which is more consequences. It also gives me more potential. There Seems like go. you're doing me a favor. <laughs> you say you you say that, but I'm like uh, I'm like a kid, right? So <laughs> like a kid, you try to hurt me. Well, fuck you. <laughs> I uh, wanted uh, this. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, more potential is to help you grow as a. I mean, that's more potential helps you grow as a person, which is kind of what they want. But it also means that when you're using your powers, uh, that, you know. Think about the implications of this, though, is that you are putting a collar on me to restrict me to help me grow as a person, right? But in the mechanical effect is that the learning that I do is from failing more often. Because that's where my potential comes from, to learn as a person. So the act of failing under the boot heel of the school is only going to make me grow as a person as somebody who rejects authority or grows to hate it. Literally, the activity of growth in this aspect is going to turn me into a villain. <laughs> hey, that's math, well, baby. We'll just see where it goes. I'm yeah, just projecting. I mean, I'm just projecting. Don't worry. I mean, I'm so. just saying, if that we were to... Uh, indicate where each mark of potential came from as like some sort of negative and positive quality to the growth of our characters. I mean, as a character, as a, uh, the internal aspect of a person, not as a character, as in the people we play. Then one could uh, extrapolate that some of that is going to be negative from the reactions of other people that caused you to have negative roles. And those would Fair be enough. negative aspects. So... Sorry, just philosophy of masks, I guess. And they will, uh, yep, and, uh, so, uh, Hellbinder will say, well, hopefully, you know, this sort of, you, you've, you've, all of this has Okay, cool. Looks like it's just me. There we go. And thus, while we have you do it normally. Yup. I was just not willing to wait, because you weren't responding. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, so does, do you not have the internet capacity, or internet capability to... I have fiber optic cable, actually. Oh. It just Discord is a bitch. Sometimes it be like that. Well, one way or another, here we are. I just noticed that you stopped talking, and I looked over, and I was like, well, everyone else seems to be frozen. I guess that's right. just me, then. So where was the last place you left off, Theta? Uh, the, literally, CMC said something. I went off right, my philosophy so... rant about masks, and then CMC started to say something, and that's where I stopped. Okay, fair enough. Um, the, uh, what she said was, uh, hopefully... You know, you you know, uh, you need to learn. You know, you have great. You know, you have unbelievable amounts of p power and potential, RK. But you know, if you keep going, you know, down this path, you're going to end up hurting yourself or someone you care about. So hopefully, you've learned a lesson from all of this. Se seeing yourself as superior to others because of your great power is not going to help you 
Um, uh, get get uh, is not going to help you make friends. So, and Doctor Sheridan thinks that maybe this has to do with you breaking the rules and uh, your brave waves, brave brain waves changing, but uh, you know, hopefully that's not the case. But yeah, uh, you are dismissed for now, RK. Yeah, I mean, I guess I go back to the dorms. All right. Um, after after you're done, um, Raz, you are called to the principal's office. All right, and uh, she comes in like crying like waterworks are on Aww. not like like full on like anime crying a river but like her face is clearly like wet like she's clearly feeling really upset over this over what aspect of this <clears throat> uh that she had taken part albeit unknowingly in breaking a rule when she is trying extra hard this year not to do that oh yeah all right so you come in and uh uh it's the same people um and so it's dr sheridan uh <coughs> hellbinder haunt cotterill and doc bulldog mm-hmm and uh Hellbinder is going to say So, Raz, before you um before anything, I need I want to let you know that you are not in trouble. At least not yet. <laughs> and uh I, I think she just very super like unladylike, just like takes the sleeves of her shirt and just like rubs her face dry. Just like wipes it off <laughs> on her leg. Like, really? Yep. Um, but we do have a few questions that we want to ask you. Okay. So, can you, in your own words, can you explain exactly uh, what went down after the bank, after the incident? with the villains after after we it was the haunt right doing the uh teaching there yeah uh, uh i i asked the haunt if we yep. could go go to the mall or something as like a reward for doing a real hero thing and and he said yes and he said to be back to the school by sundown and then we did and we went to the mall and it was a lot of fun and then then we were walking and then rk wanted to take me on a date and I said yes earlier so we went and I was watching the sun so that I could know when and the sun didn't go down and I thought I had time and then I didn't and then the the teacher was there and it was awkward and there was a, like a wall and and then I got in the car okay um did RK at besides going out to dinner, did RK ask to take you anywhere else? Um, I he didn't say anything. I I think he wanted to do something else, but he didn't say anything. Okay. Uh, and did you end up paying? Who ended up paying for the the dinner? Uh, I don't remember actually. I I was it RK? Did he pay for it? Out of character. I mean, I get if that was the intent. I don't think we ever talked about it since we were forced to leave so quickly. All right, make a call now. Uh, would you have paid for it given the chance, or would you have had? Because I'm pretty sure I know Raz offered to pay for it. Would you have like insisted? Well, yeah, because that's, okay. that's the point. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, it was, that's. It was, it was RK. He paid for it. Okay. That 
thank you very much. Uh, she says, be like, I was afraid of that. Well, no matter. Um, why, why is why is that bad? You don't need to know. Oh, no, oh, he really he really did something, didn't he? Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Can I? Oh, can I fix it? Did I don't know. This we'll take care of it, uh, Raz. It's okay. You're like I said, you're not in trouble for any of this. So don't worry. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble, isn't he? To be honest, yes. <sighs> Very much so. Uh, he's he is lucky that we didn't expel him on the spot. Between okay, um, listen, listen, I, I don't know, I don't know what his story is, but I don't think he knows how to like talk to people or do anything, and I don't know if he's ever had a friend or someone to like be nice to. I don't think he gets it, and I'm trying to teach him. <sighs> Maybe this is too much, but is there any way we could take it easy on him? Because I think he's a little behind other people. As he, she's like, we've sort of seen that too. Uh, um... I know he's a lot, but I think he's good. I think he just doesn't know how to show it. And she's uh, that's why we decided to take it easy on him. Um and she like visibly like slumps forward in relief when you when she says that. <laughs> I oh uh, uh do you want to I'm assuming since you're pro the one prompting it uh you're not going to resist the the shifting what shifting uh the one you suggested oh that sounded like I was referring or, to when she was talking with RK oh okay I didn't see that message then Ark but that's a good idea RK would you resist the minus superior plus mundane of course I would. All right. Well, let's ret yeah. retro retroactively yes. roll two d six. Roll retroactively yeah, roll two d six. Jesus! Oh, you get your you get potential, which gives you five potential. Yep. Ooh. Nice. See, I'm. Wait, did you already, wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Didn't you already have? Didn't you already advance and then grab more flares last week? I think I failed a lot last week, didn't I? You did a lot of failing last week. I think you failed literally every roll. So I, I'm just, I thought I remembered you taking constructs and... We did, but that was like halfway through the session, and then I failed. <laughs> then I did apparently did a lot of stuff. I mean, we can go back over it. But just uh, no, here. No. here. Uh, three. I just, you don't have it, you didn't write it down in your advancements, and I just want to make sure... What do you mean I didn't mark it down in my advancements? Like the I added it to the uh, burn. Is there something else on the you sheet? Know, I, oh, okay. Yes. I've never marked anything on that thing. Okay, sorry. I only added uh, the right. bull's heart there because it, there was no... Like, you know what? That's my fault. Yeah. <coughs> yeah no. So that, that helps me keep track of when you yeah, do it. Yeah, hold on. Whenever, no, I'm typing so. something in the thing. Um, so... Let me just take a look at... Here, no, I'm just making a note on here so we can keep the keep things rolling. I just won't use mm -hmm. anything right now. I won't take anything so, for the future we'll until get... we figure that out later. Yep. Uh thank you. Uh, uh sorry, but yeah, just... uh mundane up, superior down. Correct. And you mark do you mark guilty or well, mark a condition. Ones that make sense to me are angry, guilty, angry, hopeless, or in <laughs> This angers yeah. me. Fair enough. You're an angry fella. 
Um, you you use the keyword superior. You said stop acting so superior, and the act of collaring him looked like you were trying to make him more mundane. Slash, so what was in my head? Yep. Nope. That makes sense. Anyways, uh, back to the current scene. Uh, that's why we've chosen to take it easy on him. Um. Uh, okay. I mean, where? Were, what was I going to do after that one? All right. Um, and is there? Uh, this time, Doctor Sheridan will speak up. Is there any other behavior that you noticed that seemed different from RK than what you're used to? Um, different than what I'm used to. Um, he smiled. He did that. That's new. Well, I can't. Uh... Um, Angel says he's been, like, stalking me, but I don't think that's new. <laughs> Dr. Sheridan, will you see she has, like, a a tablet and she's taking notes with her tablet. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm not well, mad at him for that. I think he just doesn't know how to talk to people, but he's he's trying. He's trying. Yes. I'm just one... It's just my job to monitor his behavior until we can determine what how much of him... If what he did during the first day of school has had an effect on his per his personality in an adverse way. If if anything, it looks like he's gotten better. Well, that I mean, might apart be... Apart from, you know, stopping the sun or whatever. I mean, yes, but that could be due to his brain pat wave ch patterns changing. We still don't know. Okay, well, he's he's my teammate, so if anything happens, like, you'll tell me, right? We, we will tell you. He seems satisfied with that answer. They say complete, they say, uh, they say despite the fact that they're totally not planning on telling you anything. <laughs> she totally believes them. <laughs> All, all of those years in the public education system have pro shown me that teachers will say stuff and then completely lie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um... Uh, you will be dismissed. Uh... And they will also try and shift your labels. Uh... Bringing your mundane up and your would it be superior down or danger down? Mm. Probably superior. Mundane up and superior down. Yes. Yeah, we'll accept that. All right. So then, if you're just going to accept it, you don't have to roll. Um. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what would. Uh, so I guess Paladin. What would when you got what, when you get back to class, Paladin? What would you be? Uh, when you get back to the campus, what would what would you be doing? You you are not called by the principal because you you guys left uh before any of that happened. Uh, how much free time is there before lights out? Um, you guys, pretty sure you guys left right away, or you know, you guys left long before you know, you know, basically that when prompted. You would have basically been ha you would have had a few hours. You would have had a few hours before dinner, and then a few hours after dinner before. You basically had, you know, you know, 
three, four hours of free time on campus before uh, including dinner and uh, sort of uh, post, uh, you know, late, you know, uh, before, you know, you're supposed to go to your dorms for the rest of the evening. Let's just say like four hours. Well, if there's a recreation area in the school, then he would certainly go there and uh, hang out with some of the other students. He doesn't see that often because he's not on their teams. All right. Anyone in particular you want to hang out with? Well, over zero as long as they're not assholes. All right. So... When you say recreation area, you're talking you want to go to the gym, go to like the common room. Common room. Or like, yes. All right. So. Uh, so let's see. So in the common room, you would probably see, you know, for the boys, you know, uh, would you go? Uh, you can also go to the cafeteria because there's you go. There's the common room in the boys dorm there's sort of the co-ed common room and then there's like the cafeteria and the gym and then there's like the courtyards hmm. I need to really come up with a map I like could help you with that later I've got great cartographer I can make a simple blueprint looking map for you we can change that later but uh, I guess he would purchase some food from the cafeteria and start a little party with some of the other students to celebrate, you know, the, I'm sure other classes had other tests during the time we had our tests. So yep. sort of having a celebration for everybody. Yep. I want you, uh, once you get into the cafeteria and, uh, and get your food, you are, I don't want to say swarmed, but a bunch of a bunch of kids, a bunch of other students will sort of swarm around you. I guess they are swarming. Uh, I guess uh, language is great. Um, but a whole bunch of people come up to you. It's like, is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is what true? Did you fight? Uh, did you really fight villains today? Yes. They were rather low key that they had a reality warper with them. But other than that, um, the rest of them were pushovers. As, uh, let's see, who? I'm trying to think of, I was looking through the, the, uh, some of the, some of the students are, a lot of the people are maybe people from he, uh, your, uh, historical, your HEMA club. Right. Uh, but let's see, I'm looking through, I'm looking through my own class, my own, my students to, to see who, who would be the ones to get real excited about this. Uh, so, foo, 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 looking through students, uh, a lot of them are probably, yeah, besides the unnamed students of HEMA, uh, Accelerator comes up to you. Uh, a bunch of some, a lot of the drifters, uh, some nerds. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, and you know, red, uh, red. Uh, well, it's it's a grab bag. We'll just say it's a grab bag because I don't want to go through and name a whole bunch of individuals. Uh, I was like. Well, uh, yeah. What happened? What happened? It's like, uh, Red Fox, uh, will come up to you, and she's like, "Here, here," and she just like holds up her, you know, her black, her her like black credit card, and she's like, "Let me pay for your lunch. Why don't you come sit with us and uh, let's get and tell us all about what happened." Yo, know, and it's like you've got, and if like basically everyone's sort of crowding around you, wanting to hear, like. You tell a story about fighting actual villains. He'll certainly recount what happened and uh, play up the contributions of the other team members while, you know, making himself 
he's going to try to be humble, but this is like, you know, a rich man's kind of humble. So he's <laughs> going to be like left handed complimenting himself the entire time. Right hand complimenting everybody else, left hand patting herself on the back. Right. <laughs> and of course, you know, when who, who, Red Fox offers to pay for the food, he'll say, if you insist, you don't have to. Oh, she will insist. Uh, like, she's, she is, it's well known that she's loaded, like, probably more loaded than Raz. If that's okay with Raz, I don't want. I don't want to. Nah, that's fine. Take, wait, There's always someone uh, above you, right? Yeah, it's like you're. I know you said your 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 dad was in superhero insurance. Oh yeah. Uh, her her dad owns a uh one of the big companies in uh Halcyon City. <clears throat> so yeah, her dad's blind, like man. a big fancy big fancy CEO. Uh, Looking for a red fox, I can't find the I see this prog fox. Uh, there. Yeah, there she is. <clears throat> he was in Lotto. All right. That's yep. a lot of pouches. He has a lot Another of gear. Lot. Not a lot of leaf fell them on the pouches, so. You said not a lot of patches. That's not what I was thinking. I sorry, I tapped back over from doing the math. That's not. I was looking thinking of the the spoof character Pouch Man, who is literally a guy who's just made of pouches. I mean, <laughs> it's less That's pouches. Than, it's it's less pouches than your typical Final Fantasy character, and so it's it's a it's it's a moderate amount. Just be careful. Pouch Man can be prepared for anything in those pouches. <laughs> You might even have more pouches in them. Oh, I'm sorry, Ark. That's what you were making the spoof of. I got you now. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't understand. I didn't know Rob Liefeld made Pouch Man or the pouch. Well, he he gave all his characters like pouches over every limb, every part of the torso. Yeah. Right, the man of unreasonable costuming. Good lord, is it possible to learn this power? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just googled this because I was curious and I'm not disappointed. Alright. Well uh, now I have to share, don't I? Yes. Uh but yeah. Well I mean while we're doing this little uh, aside. Going back over the math, I think I was right. I think my sheet was right. Okay. That, I have failed fine. eight rolls. I think we've done two team moves so far, maybe three. Uh, plus the tests, end of session stuff. The pouch right, launcher. No. That's fine. I just uh, that yeah. Then yeah, you can grab another advance. Yeah, you know, I For, just uh. No, I understand because when you ask, then suddenly I think that I might be wrong, which is why I go back over everything. Yeah, I yeah, have just uh, failed I, a lot. No, I I didn't want I just. I wasn't trying to accuse you. Don't think I was trying to. No, accuse no, no. You I am not a reliable source for my own information. So that's why no. when you ask, I have to go back mm -hmm. over and ensure. And then I didn't keep track of my own the advancements section, which is my bad. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So if you could, that will that will that will make the uh, um that will make. But I mean, what do you typically put there? You just like. So if you go into like your the character sheet PDF, <clears throat> uh, just like well, what sort of... advancement you're taking? Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, like uh, for you, you took the last one would be three new flares. Book. Unlock three new yeah, flares. The se... the, yeah, the second one was unlock three new flares. Uh, and then whatever you, whatever you take now would be just you know just you can just copy paste whatever text you put there. Got it. All right. Did not know that I was not doing something. <laughs> Got it. Yep. <clears throat> it just makes keeping track of that stuff a lot easier. I can just look at it and say, "Oh yeah, so you definitely got." Uh... All right. So, anyways, back to scene. Um... 